We're gonna troubleshoot this today, hopefully get it fixed. I'm hoping I don't need a new dryer, so let's see what happens. So the first thing I wanna do is I'm just gonna try and uh, and run this thing so I'm, and see the problem for myself. Okay, so it looks like it tries to start, but it, it won't, uh, the drum won't kick on. Uh, second thing I want to do is uh, it could be a, something as simple as a door switch. I do, I do actually see the light go on, so that tells me the switch may be working. But just for the heck of it, I'm going to leave the door open. Or actually, let's start it over. I'm going to leave the door open and see what happens. Okay, so I'm getting three beeps. So that tells me that the door switch works. So we're going to have to go inside. It could be a thermal switch. So what we're gonna remove this bottom panel, there's two quarter inch sheet metal screws at the bottom. You might have seen me take this thing apart when I cleaned out the lint, uh, very important. I'll put a link to that video in the descriptions. Uh, but let, we're, gonna, we're definitely gonna have to go deeper to find out what's wrong. Easier if I hold the camera. So again, I've removed the two quarter inch sheet metal screws with a socket. And I was gonna start looking for the thermal sensors, but as soon as I looked inside here, I can see exactly uh, what I think the problem is. So you can see my driver belt. <laughs> the drive belt for this machine is uh, clearly uh, not uh, wound on the spools and around the drum, so it broke. Uh, so I'm gonna have to fix that. So I'm gonna get a new belt real quick um, if I can and um, I'm gonna skip the thermal sensors for now because I have cleaned out my dryer, so there should not be any kind of overheating. So uh, I'm gonna replace the belt first before I do any more troubleshooting and see if that fixes the problem. So uh, I'll, uh, I'll be right back, hopefully, with a new belt. Conveniently enough, uh, Lowe's did have the part I was looking for. So this is a 27 inch drum dryer, and that requires a 92 and a quarter inch belt, as long. Uh, Again, if you're going to try and find a belt for your dryer, I happen to have Kenmore Elite Smart Heat Quiet Pack 9, so I googled that 27-inch uh, drum. Uh, I did find uh, the belt uh, at Lowe's. It's a Smart Choice 27-inch dryer belt. Um, but again, uh, do your research. Make sure you find the right part. I was happy to find I could get it locally. While we're doing this, take advantage. Get yourself your vacuum, and uh, this is a nice opportunity to really do a good job getting all the lint out of your dryer system. That's a big fire risk, uh, one of the top ways people have house fires. So use this opportunity to clean up uh, if you care about your family. I care about your family. I don't even know who you are. So uh, do that, take advantage of this opportunity if you're working on this too. Before I forget, very important, before you start opening up your dryer, unplug it so you don't uh, electrocute yourself. Okay, so on my dryer, um, there are three quarter inch sheet metal screws along the back, same size as the two on the front. So we wanna remove those so that we can uh, remove this top piece. One other thing I did and I did not uh, mention earlier, if you're running a gas dryer, shut the gas off uh, this appliance. If you have to move it around, there's, you probably have a flexible gas line running to it. Uh, just in case you damage that line. Make sure the gas line is off while you're doing this. Let's get this out of the way. I'm gonna remove uh, the front um, and uh, put that belt on from the front. We'll see how easy that is to do. So I'm removing the sheet metal screws here. Uh, I loosened this one, this piece here. I'm gonna leave it where it is though. Uh, but I did need to remove some of those sheet metal screws, again, quarter inch, um, so I can get this piece loosened and, and get, all, get all this off. So um, two removed here and the ones I needed just to kind of loosen up the sheet metal. And now I'm gonna take a look at what it takes to get that door off. This top piece turned up. There's four s screws, one on each corner, holding the front on. Before I take this off, the switch cord has to be released. Using a small flathead, I've got the switch disconnected. All right, so before you can remove this door, you also need to remove uh, this shield here for the exhaust. So again, there's sheet metal screws going around it. All right, so again, three sheet metal screws, quarter inch, holding on this. 
And again, this is a great opportunity to take your vacuum and get all of that uh, debris out of there. I've even got some gravel inside here. So I'm gonna spend some time cleaning. I'm not gonna film that, but I'm gonna get all of this cleaned up while I'm uh, getting after that, that exhaust. Belt removed should be able to gently get this door off I see a lot more lint and I also see it looks like a moisture sensor plugged in so I'm gonna get that out here I'll show you another sensor right there I gotta remove then we should be good to go all right, just a minor detail here when you're installing the belt, make sure the grooves are against the drum. In other words, wherever there's labeling, that should be on the outside so that doesn't get rubbed off. Really think about it that way. All right, here we go. All right, so I got some bad news. Uh, I started weaving the belt in around to try and find the pulley, uh, the idler pulley and the motor pulley to wrap it around. And I noticed there's a really sharp edge on the motor pulley. Um, I actually found this little metal piece on the ground, which is part of the motor pulley. So I have to replace the motor pulley, um, which is bad news, but good news is, is I've opened up the whole front of the dryer. So it's actually pretty easy to remove the drum uh, just using the belt. about this is this gives me a lot more access and I can do an even better job of cleaning out all that lint again which I won't record but uh, I'll take I'll show you what mine looks it's like. pretty dirty in there and I'll just give you a shot so this that is the broken motor pulley so I will get a new one and then uh, pick up where I left off all right just a quick uh, tip I am using a 7 16 to hold the shaft in place down here while I'm using a channel locks to grab onto that broken end and get that motor pulley off. So um, it will spin off. Um, let's see, what's the way, what's the way? If I'm looking at it from this angle, it will be clockwise. Okay, so this is the broken motor pulley that I now need to order. And it's got a 27 on it. Uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and Google um, or look around town for a motor pulley, 27 inch for that Kenmore Quiet Pack 9. Okay, so I'm back and as you can see, I've got my new motor pulley on and again, I just put that on uh, with a wrench and using that 7 16 to hold uh, the axle of that motor. So. Uh, I've got my part replaced. I picked that up at a, a store in Manchester. We'll now reverse the process, put this dryer back together. And as you can see, I also took the time to really vacuum out all that lint uh, that was around uh, uh, the back. There was really a ton on that back area. We'll get the drum back in and start the reassembly process. Getting ready to put the door back on. Make sure that you have a sheet metal screw um, half screwed in on each side. You're actually gonna hang the frame on those. Then you can get the drum resting on the pulleys and then add all the other sheet metal screws to uh, tighten everything up. So uh, that should make things a little easier. Okay, so I have set the drum back in. So it's on the back two rollers, but as you can see, I need to put the door on in order to stabilize uh, that drum. Uh, or barrel, whatever you call it. But again, I just wanna make a quick note. I did remove uh, the cover. Uh, for the lint screen and again if you're if you're into the project this deep take the time to uh, remove that uh, uh, that uh, cover for the lint trap and uh, vacuum out all that lint so if you you know you're taking your dryer apart let's really get all the lint out of there as we're putting it back together so i'm going to vacuum this out and then uh, place it back on the front
With the door still kind of loosely um, hanging, uh, I am putting this exhaust cover back on. I can kind of wiggle it around the door to make sure it seats properly and then put those three sheet metal screws back into their places. Okay, so before I go too much further, I'm going to get that belt uh, wrapped around the motor pulley and the idler pulley. Uh, you're not going to be able to see it too well because I'm going to be basically feeling with my hands, but I'll put a diagram uh, so you, as a next clip so you can kind of see what I'm doing. Okay, once you've got the belt on, rotate the drum and make sure that it's uh, cycling smoothly and the rib side is against the drum. Okay, at this point you're going to be uh, making all your electrical connections and then finishing tightening and uh, assembling all of the, the uh, sheet metal screws. Put the electronics back on and before I put the whole shell back on, I'm going to test it and make sure it runs. So I'm going to put all those pieces back on now. It's just the reverse order of taking it apart. Replaced all the electronics, screwed on most of the sheet metal screws. Before I complete this, I want to stop. I'm at a safe spot to um, turn the power on, turn the gas on. Let's make sure it works. All right, looks pretty good. So I will button this thing up. This all happened because my kids were doing laundry with towels and tennis shoes, but I'm okay with that. A new belt, $13. Kids doing their own laundry, priceless.